Jack Antonoff dulls the edges of every pop star he produces and must be stopped. I'm able to instantly detect if Jack Antonoff has worked on a song due to a visceral hatred of his production style. Me, every time Jack Antonoff homogenizes a female artist's sound. One thing about Jack Antonoff, he's sneaking that horn in the background. This is all hate for a music producer by the name of Jack Antonoff on Twitter, a place where you go when you want to hate something. Stuff. So today I thought I'd dive in, see where these people are wrong, see where they're right, chill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you're right a little bit. And maybe if there's something bigger, we can take away from it. Jack Antonoff has produced these albums recently and people are clowning on him because they say he produces them all in a very similar style. If I had to describe the sound briefly, I would just say it's these close mic compressed eclectic sound choices that you either love or hate. Like it either makes you feel claustrophobic in a gross way or you're like, oh wait, this actually works. Now let's unpack the hate. What I guess bugs me personally about these comments is that they ignore the producer artist relationship. Now obviously that varies from artist to artist and producer to producer. You're gonna have a much different dynamic in the studio if it's your cousin making your beats than if it's Pierre Bourne. But let's assume a typical artist-producer relationship. Artist writes the songs, turns them into demos, goes into the studio with the producer. The producer's job? Be an extension of the artist. Help execute bigger ideas in a more efficient way than the artist would be able to all on their own. And of course pitch them creative ideas that you'd like to try. However in the end it's still the artist's project. The artist has to green light the end result for release. There's no dynamic unless it's harmful or just bad where a producer goes, no, we are using this kick drum and you are gonna like it. The artist is in charge, period end of story. Nothing's getting put out that they don't like. I'll also add that if your favorite artist is coming into the studio with garbage material, there's no amount of producing in the world that's gonna fix that. It's not Jack's job or any producer for that matter, unless you're really, really close with the artist to be like, yo, these songs suck, go write new ones. No, you have to do the best with what you're given. That's what you're paid to do. Okay, so now you might be like, and this is only if you're like really trying to hate here, you're like, but Sergio, Jack is evil and he's not actually letting artists flesh out their own ideas. He's just controlling the whole project. Well, and see, that's where we have to bring up a few receipts. Ward, in a direct response to comments like this about her last album said, I haven't made a Jack Antonoff record. I've made a Ward record and he's helped me make it and very much deferred to me on production and arrangement. Jack would agree with this. To give him that amount of credit is frankly insulting. Taylor, after her latest release, just referenced Jack as a co-pilot and friend for life. Do you really think if Jack was in the studio being manipulative, overstepping, or at the very least just too forward with his ideas, do you really think that Taylor wouldn't say something about it? She'd be the first person to say something about it. And that's a good thing. Even Maddie Healy of the 1975, after their latest record, which they worked on with Jack Antonoff, said, I think that guy has a reputation for being busy, but I can tell you he's just good. He's so good. What he does is identifies what an artist is really good at or where the truth is coming from. So no, I don't think that Jack is one of the big evil music producers messing everything up. On to the next point. Okay, so now you might be at the point where you're like, Sergio, I get it. I've heard all your Italian whining. I could admit that these memes might be poorly phrased, but I still hate Jack's sound. Well, at that point, I say to you, you need to blame the artist. The artist is choosing the producer. Maybe the bigger takeaway here is that there's a trend in the sound of pop that artists and fans like, and Jack's the one with the sauce. And if you don't like that sauce, that's valid. That's a va This whole time, that has been a valid opinion to have. But to blame him for ruining pop or people's careers or a genre is just silly. I'm pretty sure Jack would produce in any style if you asked him to. Any producer worth their salt or any producer on that level has to be that versatile. The songs he's making right now, the artist wants them that way. That's why he's in demand. I actually think it makes a lot of sense and it's really smart as a producer to have a pretty distinct style like that, even though some people hate it. Because if I'm a huge artist and I can pick from anyone I want, at least I know very obviously what I'm going to get. I know, okay, this is what Jack's thing is, this is what he likes to do, and this is how he's in the studio. It makes it really easy to choose or not choose him, which again, falls on your favorite artist to do. Me, personally, it might not come as a surprise, but I generally like what he does. At first, I was 
was like maybe his style would only really shine on a singer-songwriter type project like Sling, but then he just proved it could work on a band with the latest 1975 record. I was also a huge fan of the record he did with St. Vincent. I don't think everything he does is gold, I'm not a Jack Antonoff worshiper, but I don't think there are a lot of producers out there with a flawless discography. Especially one with as big of a catalog as him, I mean the more shots you take statistically, the more misses there are gonna be. But I'm excited to see, at the very least, how he evolves and where he ends up. The dude has more musical talent in his pinky than I do in my entire body, I promise you, I just run a YouTube channel. But uh, if you like this video, check out this video over here where I asked the question, did Mac DeMarco kill Indy? I know, it's, it's kind of similar to this video, but you'll like it if you like this one.